Welcome to the Cerner Coding Tips module. This module covers coding in Cerner to assist you in making healthcare easier so life can be better. In this module, we will go over why you will be selecting your levels of service, how to verify what type of encounter you are in, where to find your evaluation and management codes, what the expectation is for coding at Banner if you do an operation or procedure, how to modify your date of service on your documentation or your orders, and a quick look at what Diagnosis Assistant can do for you and why you might receive coding queries. The reason Banner would like physicians and advanced practice providers to select their own levels of service is to optimize their RVUs and build a relationship between the coding department and themselves. This helps your coder learn your documentation and understand what you do to make sure all charges are captured. It is very important to add a charge order in the hospital setting. Without the charge order, coding will not know you have seen the patient. For new physicians and APPs in Tucson only, we are piloting a new program that sends an automated prompt once you sign your documentation for hospital visits. If you are in Tucson, you will not need to add a charge order for anything in the hospital setting. When you enter a patient's chart in Cerner, it is important to verify the encounter field in the patient bar. If your patient is placed in observation, the encounter will say observation. This will help you understand that you will select the observation codes for this patient. As you can see in this example, it says inpatient. For this patient, you would select an inpatient code. If you open the wrong encounter, simply click on the word location and it opens all encounters for that patient within Banner. From there, you will select the correct encounter date. Verifying that you are in the correct encounter is the first step in generating the correct charge orders. Once in the correct encounter, select the correct viewpoint for either ambulatory or acute view. Additionally, depending on your specialty, you may have a specialty view to select. To find your charge orders, go to Quick Orders or search for them from the Add Orders. If you use Quick Orders, you will find the correct type of charge orders for your specialty pre-populated as an option. If you use Quick Orders, you will find the correct type of charge orders for your specialty pre-populated as an option. In Cerner, we have two sets of charge orders on the acute side. The side on the left is used primarily by the hospitalist or oncologist. The side on the right is used by all other specialties. The charges in both sets mean the exact same thing. The difference is where the charge will fall into our billing system. If you'll be doing any bedside procedures or operations, Banner does not expect you to code for the services. Banner created the PF prompt for this purpose. This sends a notification to coding that you've done a procedure or operation so that the coder will abstract your documentation. If you're used to coding procedures, you do not have to use the prompt. You can add the CPT codes if you prefer to do that. If you were unable to start the note on the day you saw the patient, you will need to modify the date on your documentation. Cerner defaults the date on your documentation to the date you start the note. To do this, you will click on the blue words that say Note Details at the bottom of the note you've created. This will open up your Note Details option. Under the Date field is where you want the date to reflect the day you saw the patient. If you are adding a charge order on a day that is different than the day you saw the patient, you will need to modify the date of the order. To do this, you will want to select Modify from Quick Orders. After clicking Modify, you will see the Add Order screen. Here, you will click on the line of the order you are adding and ensure the date is correct in the Details tab. If you receive a coding query from your coder, please make sure to look at what they're requesting. Some queries that require more information need a response from you before we can release those charges from a hold. Queries about a level of service charge gives you five business days to respond. If you do not respond in those five business days, your coder will submit the charges at their reviewed level of service. If you have any questions about the topics covered on today's presentation, please reach out to the listed mailbox. Thank you for listening and welcome to Banner. Now, exhale. Thank you for making healthcare easier so life can be better for Sevilla.